like the best for butter slime and what is the differences and what is this and what is that and how can you use it and just basically everything about it. And so I'm going to be doing Daiso Clay, Model Magic, and Play-Doh and I know most people probably don't use Play-Doh too often but I did make a butter slime recipe with Play-Doh and it worked very well so I thought, you know, why don't we try it and I also don't know what else clay anybody else uses except those ones so yeah. <laughs> and today's like my job is going to be trying to put the like button with your earlobe. Ugh. And you can like, you know, control it like this if you want to. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys should do make sure you comment that little hashtag I did it and let's just get straight on to the video. What yo? Okay guys, so the first one we're gonna do is a Daiso clay. And I think I am going to put lotion in this. So now this is all fair guys to see which clay is the best. I am gonna be measuring out the glue and I'm gonna put a cup of glue, so yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make this one pink. Actually no, I want it purple. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of lotion. That was kind of hot, but whatever. Okay, so there's some lotion now. And let's go ahead and activate it. Clay, and this is the best part. I don't know about you guys, but I love adding Daiso clay into slime because it's like it, it gets all balling and it's just the most satisfying and it's just the most satisfying thing ever. So let's do this. All right, so there's one block of that. I feel like Daiso clay mixing should be like more popular. finished the slime and it is so nice guys I wanted it to become like you know a pastel purple and that is exactly what it is it is so pretty anyway so here it is it's very nice look at that baby yes okay so as you can tell Daiso clay is like really really stretchy and it's also like really strong I guess like I don't know like it, it like really impacts the slime and it makes it so nice and it kind of makes it fluffy too like listen to this that kind of sounds like a fluffy slime, right? Like, and it also like kind of puffs up like a fluffy slime. So yeah, that's pretty fun, I think. But yeah, here it is. Hey guys, it also feels like a lot like dough and it is so nice. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? I think Daiso Clay is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. Like, I love it so much. It's my, like, probably my favorite slime ingredient after pigment. I love pigment. I can't even with pigment, guys. Don't get me started. <laughs> a 10 out of 10 you guys comment down below if you like Daiso or maybe you're like Ugh, I don't know why people like it so much but yeah anyways guys let's get up to the next one okay guys so the next one we're gonna try is a Mother Magic and I know like a lot of people prefer Daiso clay over Model Magic and I don't know about me though cuz Daiso clay is like really nice but like Model Magic has this really nice texture that like it gets like really doughy and I like it a lot I don't know let's do this and let's see maybe I'm just overreacting I don't know but at least let's do this okay so of course one cup of glue okay so I'm gonna make this one blue okay and this time I'm actually gonna put the lotion in the model magic first because model magic is you know firmer so yeah okay now we're gonna go ahead and activate this beauty Okay guys, I am all done with my slime. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the lotion into the Mono Magic, and yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna add the lotion right here. I think that was a good amount. That's like the amount I put last time. Okay, now let's go ahead and massage this into here. And actually guys, I love just adding lotion into Mono Magic and just having it straight up like that, because it is so nice. Like the texture, everything, it's like, I wouldn't even be able to tell if there was slime in it or not, because like, I don't know guys, I think I just like clay a lot. <laughs> Comment down below what you think about Mono Magic and lotion. I think it is absolutely blended. It is so nice. Okay, so that's one con that Model Magic does. You have to have like a lot more lotion than the Daiso Clay because the Daiso Clay is so soft while this one's a little bit harder. But it's like not that bad, honestly. I'm finally done with the Model Magic, guys. And look at that. Isn't it so nice? Like it's so smooth. It literally looks like vanilla ice cream. And I love vanilla ice cream. So this is like gold. <laughs> this is just like it's so beautiful for me. Okay, so now we have the Model Magic done. I'm going to go ahead and try and make it into a block to try and, you know, replicate the Daiso <laughs> I don't know why I just think it'd be funny. Anyway, so here's the slime and we're gonna put that right there and yeah, let's do this guys. Yeah, so as you can tell it does not rip apart nearly as much as Daiso clay does, so 
that is, I don't even know what they put in Daiso clay, but it is just so nice, guys. Okay, so let's just continue mixing this. By the way, guys, this is like about the same amount of clay that the Daiso clay had to, by the way. Okay, so there it is. Like I said, guys, the Model Magic gives it such a interesting, like, thick texture. So, like, this is kind of like brownie batter. So, if you guys want to make some brownie batter, you should use some Model Magic because, like, it gives it such a cool texture and such, like, a, a heavy slime brownie batter texture. It is just so nice. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? It's, like, a lot less um, spreadable like that, you know? You see? Look at that. Wow, the Daiso clay spreads black butter because it's butter slime. <laughs> because just because it's like harder but I also really like the hard slime of it it's like it makes it so thick the slime and then like ah, it's just so beautiful anyways guys let's get on to the last one just a little reminder guys we're gonna be having a slime smoothie at the end so make sure to stay tuned so yeah let's get on okay so okay guys so I'm gonna put only a half a cup of glue because this is two ounces and the other ones were four ounces so I'm just gonna you know split it in half if that makes sense so it's fair you know okay all right let's do this okay so I'm gonna make this one blue since my play-doh is yellow and I'm gonna try and like make it green does that make sense, guys? <laughs> okay, so it is all blue now. And you actually don't even need lotion for this one. Play-Doh is like really out of this world, guys. If you put Play-Doh in your slime, be careful. It completely just melts it. So you want to active overactivate your slime before you put it in. Or also, well, actually not or. Just promise me you'll have borax on hand when you add Play-Doh into slime, okay? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to activate this beauty. Okay hey guys, I'm almost done with my slime. I'm just gonna go ahead and start overactivating it now because I am not playing with you guys. Play-Doh completely destroys slime. Like, you know how usually you would overactivate slime, you know, to put some instant snow into it because the instant snow melts it? Well, you need a double amount of overactivating <laughs> Play-Doh, okay? It is serious. Take this serious. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm all done with my slime and it's very overworked, so I think I'm prepared. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get our Play-Doh. I love Play-Doh when it is new, guys. I don't know if it's just me, but it's just like so satisfying that it's like, it, it, it's just like perfect. <laughs> We're gonna put that right there. It's gonna be like Daiso clay. <laughs> oh no, no it's not actually. <laughs> and it starts. So let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> This is what I mean by you should have activator on hand. Always have it on hand. Okay, so as you can tell, completely <laughs> melted it like crazy, like completely. So I'm just gonna go ahead and activate it again, and then let's see what happens. Okay, guys, I finally got it under control. I got everything. <laughs> okay, so here is the slime. As you can tell, it's really stretchy, and it's actually really like nice if you don't have like clay for you know butter. So you can just put some play-doh. Obviously, be really careful. <laughs> but anyways, there it is. As you can tell, it spreads very, very nicely. So it's actually really nice, and it's super thick. Like, look at this. And this one, I didn't add any lotion whatsoever. But what I did add was more borax because it completely melted all over the place. <laughs> But guys, I like this one a lot. I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10 too because it is like really good for just being Play-Doh, you know? And that like little Play-Doh container I got is like 50 cents at Walmart. So, you know, it's it's reasonable. And you can also get it at the dollar store too. So, I like it a lot. What do you guys think? And yeah. All right guys, let's do it slime smoothie. Okay, so we got the Play-Doh one right here, the Model Magic, and then the Daiso clay. All right, let's do this. Yes. Oh wait, wait one second guys. Make sure to take screenshots and post it on Instagram and then tag me. Okay, let's carry on. Guys, it's actually turned into like a mint blue. I thought it might turn into a brown because of the green, but it actually turned out really nice. Comment down below, guys, what your favorite clay is. Mine would probably be the Daiso one. I love Daiso, it is just awesome. I just love it. And also, if you want me to do a part two and also whatever the heck you want. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, love you so much, and I really hope I see you guys next time. Bye!